it gets back to the 678. I, I'm just trying to wrap my brain around how successful I would be to go out and get somebody to put in five thousand right. uh dollars. Uh huh. Pretty. Yeah. So I mean, are you? Are they, are they people really? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Oh, let me tell you, oh, I've absolutely. done hundreds, of oh. hundreds of them. I have every time I've done them. I just as Bruce said, I file a gift tax return and I tell the government everything we did. This is ob I'm absolutely transparent. So we file a tax a gift tax return saying, here's a copy of the trust, here's a copy of the appraisal of the assets we put in, here, here's all the transaction documents. We give them the whole stack. Now the gift tax return is about this thick, you know, mm -hmm. and I have filed hundreds of these, and I have not had one examination. Because the reviewer doesn't understand. Them. <laughs> <laughs> but if they did, I'm, I'm completely cool with it. If yeah. they did, we yeah. are on solid ground. I've got all the authority to back it up. Yeah. And, and I will tell you another reason why I'm pretty bold about this thing working. When President Obama was in office and he put together his green book, which was his wish list for tax changes, every president has one. In his wish list, he said to Congress, please kill this technique. He said, because mm -hmm. rich people are getting away without, with, with not paying estate tax. And his assessment was the only way we're going to shut this down is for Congress to change the law because this thing actually works. And if, it's, if Congress doesn't change the law, people are going to continue to get away with this. And he even put in the Green Book, mm -hmm. if you do change the law, you can put in the law that will grandfather anybody who'd already done it. So the message is, if indeed we ever get to a point where Congress shuts this down, and you've already done it, you're home free. How far would the way be? In other words, does it have to be a friend? Could it be? Could be your brother. A, 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 a in law. Oh, it's better if it's a relative. Oh, absolutely. It's even better if it's a. It could be a brother. Yeah. It could be a sibling. You know, I will tell you this: if sister. your if your estate plan benefits your daughter yeah. and her kids, then it can be your son-in-law. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll say that again. Let's say you have an estate. Most estate plans benefit your, your, your descendants, but not their spouses. So let's say you're benefiting your daughter and her kids. Your son-in-law can give you the 5000